Clipping Mask is a key feature in Illustrator that allows you to show and hide details of your design by using the outline of shapes. In this video I will explain how to make the most of this technique with an example of a business card design and a character illustration. This tutorial is part of a comprehensive online course called Adobe Illustrator Masterclass. You can check it out and try the free trial if you want to learn everything there is to know about this amazing industry standard application. First, we are going to design a business card. So I have this pattern here, which I would like to have as the background of my card design. And I have the card already created here. Now this is the standard UK or European business card size, which is 85 by 55 millimeters. Because I'm going to use graphics that goes all the way to the edge of the card, I will also need to use bleed. And that's also something I'm going to show you in this video. But just so you know, I have another rectangle created here, which is three millimeters larger in every dimension. So it's actually six millimeters taller and six millimeters wider. That three millimeters is the bleed, which will be printed, but then chopped off to reach the actual size, which is this red outline. It will make sense once I show it to you. So let's just first of all bring the design here. So let's say I would like to have the name and uh, the job title and all the details on the bottom left. So I would like to have the design somewhere here on the right side of the card. So I think that looks quite good. Now what I need to do is to turn this into a clipping mask. So I am going to use the wider or bigger rectangle as the clipping shape, which you can see is already above the pattern or the design and I can double check in the layers panel. Yes, it's definitely above it. But then I'm going to shift click to select the shape itself or the illustration. And now I can create the clipping mask. So I go to object clipping mask make. Once I've done that, you can see the result is this. But of course, I don't need that red outline that is just indicating where the business cards endpoints would be. So where we actually have to trim it. And the best way to turn that into a trim mark is by going to the effect menu and choose crop marks. That is a filter which is going to add these lines here. And if you print this out, it will create a perfect template for printers to work from. Now, once we have these trim marks added, we don't need the stroke anymore, so we can actually set it to none. What we need to make sure is that we don't go beyond these edges. So while you are designing, you might want to keep those edges there and maybe even set up a safety area. So make sure the text is not too close to the edges, but don't forget to set the red outline to none once everything is ready for print. I have this template included in the exercise files, so if you want to use it for your own work, feel free to do so. But before we move on to opacity masks, let me show you another quick example of clipping masks. So what I would like to use here is this pattern on this girl's dress. It's very simple again. What I'm going to do is to drag this pattern over and I might want to go something like this. Uh, maybe first I'm going to overlap it completely like that. Then what I need is to select the dress as well. So I'm going to shift click on the dress. So I have both the pattern and the dress selected. And then now I'm going to just use the shortcut command or control seven to create the clipping mask. Now, don't forget that when you do this, it's going to make the actual shape, which in this case is the dress, completely see-through. So what I can do is to go into my layers panel and find the clipping group that we just created, select the object, the outline or the silhouette, and then give it a fill color. Uh, maybe use something similar in color, like uh, we can even use black or white, probably blue would work better in this case. Now, if I want to move the pattern around, of course, I can do that as well by selecting that pattern that we added and even use the keyboard shortcut shift arrows to push it to the left 
and have a closer look at that. That looks actually much better, but I can even use rotation and create an angle, for example, and so on and so forth. So from these examples, you can see that clipping masks are essential whenever it comes to confining things into certain outlines. So now that we've done some clipping masks, in the next video, let's have a look at an example for an opacity mask.